And then what? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. What? Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard you shat yourself and sore specters. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. You from Pharaoh? Come a long way. That just happened. Came to Fairsdale to trade a load of hides from Svorlag. Svorlag? Thought you were from Pharaoh. Svorlag's on Speakerog. Uh, ah, uh, well, you see, first I sailed from Pharaoh to Svorlag. Traded some loot from the continent for hides there, then came here. Pharaoh to Speakerog to Ard Skellig. <laughs> Roundabout journey. I hadn't much choice, had I? A merchant sails where the trade's good, not where it's close at hand. That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drum and blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. You sure about that? Sure than sure. Ugh, doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attack me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdale with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks, no doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, neckers! Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be there. Aim to travel, travel it again soon. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. You lost your transport, so I don't see how you're going to pay me. And I don't work for free. I've coins set aside. I'm sure we'll agree terms. How much would you ask? A fair price. So, how will it be? I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumdund. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh I, I, um, here. I Meaning in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm, odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gash is like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. What 
Ponta. That was close. Something tells me that was no accident. Better investigate. Fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Boulder started here. Think I see some tracks. Necker tracks. Clear prints. What's going on here?
a necker's foot, hollowed out inside like a boot. Someone lost it while running. The plot thickens. Necker paw and a human foot, small like a child's, clearly running. Trail ends here. <laughs> Who would think to hang drawings in a place like this? Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. <laughs> Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These bulls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. <laughs> Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker, torn apart by something huge, then someone cut its legs off. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, a where up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Lichy thingy, no dum dum. The bounding lichy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around and. Bloody town! Glitchy thingy, gum gum, shotkin, wolf, wolf, man. I wonder why he's not already in that shrimp. You were to kill him. Ah. What? 
Never said nothing about k killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy as scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A Doppler. But this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Irina killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Selma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason, yeah, sometimes. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> some trolls live in a mountain pass near Kaer Morin. Know them? Puldy must. Looks like their brother. Last time I was there, they were begging for a beating. My friend wanted to kill them. I talked him out of it. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. <sighs> I kill monsters, true. It's my job but only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all, because they don't know you, don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds, protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you see now, as you stand there, scared, you know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all, I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools. Gullible as newborns. A just witcher. A kind witcher. A lying witcher! He fiends it all! All humans lie! Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah! Stay here! I'll finish this alone! alone. You were right. 
monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks. Must be the place. You can come out besides. I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like another's pen. And the third. Any last words? Us. You're the prisoner. Sure about that? Richie thingy no gum gum. The pounding witchy thingy swoop man. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful! Oh, really? Fact is, I could just turn around and... Hold it out! Richie, Pingy, Glum Glum, Shotkey, Wolf, Wolf, Man. I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So Richie thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A Doppler. But this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Corrid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Won't show you, you any either. Considered it for a moment there, but you made up my mind for me. Now come here. Alone or with that pack of yours. Let's end this. Just remembered, I left a cauldron on the fire. Any other cowards? Pull the uncoward! Three against one? We might stand a chance. Ah! Get him! Ah!